Good evening and welcome to Art Design Media and Photography HE Virtual Open Event. My name is Maria Retta and I'm the Head of School for Creative Arts at College Gwent and I will be your presenter this evening. And with me is Peter Britton who will be moderating. Peter is the course leader for uh, Foundation Degree Photography and there are some other staff you will meet along the way to discuss their courses. So the aim of this evening's event is to give you as much information as possible about your chosen area or to help you decide uh, what it is that you would like to do when you come to college. Now, we would love to know that you're here. I know we've got somebody with us already. Um, if you don't want to, to let us know who you are, then please just let us know what subject it is you're interested in so we can focus our discussion this evening around the things that you are interested in. So the courses we have available to study at HE level are all at Cross Keys campus for creative arts. We have a foundation degree in illustration, a foundation degree in photography, and um, we also have the top up full BA in photography that will start this September so you can complete the, the full three years with us. A foundation degree in media and a foundation degree in games art to start in September. So over to Gareth, first of all Gareth Pugh and he will be talking to you about foundation degree in games art. Thank you, Maria. So, Naswai Tha, good evening, everyone. So, my name is Gareth Pugh, and I'm the course leader for Games Design at Level 3 and Foundation Degree. So, we're running both courses here at Cross Keys Campus, and the FD is aligned with the BA Games Art and Design Degree course at University of South Wales. So, the Foundation Degree enables the learners to develop a vast array of skills throughout their studies that are not only relevant for the game design industry, but also transferable to both TV and film. The course is aimed at learners that are hoping to develop and further their skills in games design. However, we also provide training for learners with no prior knowledge uh, within relative software packages. But those learners would be expected to have a level three qualification within creative subjects such as art and design uh, and media, to name a few. So the structure of the level four course is broken down into separate modules. We've got game studies game art, uh, drawing and movement, making games, and lastly, creative industries project. So I'll go a little bit into detail about, uh, on a few of those. So for the game art and drawing modules, we're gonna focus primarily on character development, such as 3D modeling and sculpting, in addition to character animation, where you'll be able to produce a range of cycles that are then used within a game engine. So each of those projects will require 2D design that are then refined and developed into final products. So to facilitate that project, we aim to bring in industry professionals such as concept artist Owen Williams, who currently works for Blue Zoo Animation Studios in London, and Amy Wesley, uh, who's a senior animator on films such as The Lion King and Maleficent and Cats. So Amy was able to develop a, a range of workshops and also give a behind the scenes breakdown for each of those movies, which was fantastic last year. So the creative industry project, so we aim to liaise and work alongside a range of games design companies throughout the UK, whether you undertake a work placement or work on a live brief that's been set by that company, it poses an excellent opportunity to gain valuable industry experience, develop best practices and create content for your show reels that will primarily make you more employable. I have also undertaken a work shadow placement uh, at Badwell Studios in Cardiff, working on TV shows such as His Dark Materials, that's currently uh, via the BBC. Therefore, I was able to gain valuable insight on best practices that are used not only within game, but also TV and film. So how the students interpret each of those modules is completely up to them, as long as they follow the theme and assessment criteria for each of those projects. But even though the FD will be in its first year of its run-in, in September, uh, it's developed based on the success of our level three games design course. So this year has been by far the strongest and the most successful for the game design course. As we try and embed that competitive nature of industry into the curriculum, we have found that students have risen for, uh, above and beyond every single challenge. So much so we have entered students into national competitions uh, such as Wales Skills and international competitions such as World Skills UK. 
for the 3D game art category. So this year our students managed to take on gold and silver at Wales Skills, and our biggest achievement yet was taking on the, the gold at World Skills UK. So words can't express how proud I am of not only the students, but to be part of such a dedicated organisation that's currently setting the bar for education and always striving for success. So if come check us out, guys, if you've got any questions, post it in the chat or visit us on our website. Thank you. Thanks, Gareth. Uh, the next course I'm going to talk to you about is foundation degree in illustration. And just to give you some information about foundation degrees, Foundation degrees are the first two years of a degree. Um, you will have a foundation degree in its own right, but if you want to um, complete the full BA, it will in most cases require you to go on to our partner university, which in most cases is USW, to get that top up final year. The advantages of staying in college are that class sizes are much smaller, um, it is actually much cheaper as well to study HE in college and you get much more of a one to one and more vocational um, experience. Now with foundation degree in illustration, they ex explore um, traditional methods and also some extremely high tech methods as you see on the on the screen there using um, that's Mia, one of our illustration students using a Cintiq. Um, Mia has actually um, gone on, completed her year three at USW and she is now working with um, an illustrator. They have just, uh, sorry, a, a publisher. They've uh, just taken her on to illustrate children's books. Now, the purpose of the course is all about finding your way as an il illustrator to make you as employable as possible. And it's all about working in the industry professional skills and problems, problem solving and idea generation are really, really important. You will have lots of briefs and deadlines to work to and learn all about working to a brief and a deadline. Obviously, the theory behind all those things and research into different types of methods of illustration. We have lots of real life briefs, for instance, working with a local chocolate company um, we've worked on uh, with children's publishers and um, also the the police and rspb where we've had many um ex ex exhibitions and so on with lots of visiting speakers as gareth just said uh, people from the industry coming in and um, people looking at botanical illustrations character illustrations and so on to give the learners uh, as much experience as possible. We have a state of the art studio, which is um, traditional and um, technical, technological based illustration. And we also have access to things such as a print studio and ceramic studio, photography studio, TV studio. So you can expand your knowledge in all those areas. If you are interested in illustration, please let us know in the chat and we can give you some more information. I'm going to move on now to foundation degree in photography and hand over to Peter Britton, who will tell you a little bit more about it. Lovely, thank you very much, Maria. Um, so yes, the uh, as Maria alluded to a little earlier on, the photography degree has gone through a bit of a process of changes last year. We are now both a foundation degree and a third year BA. So at Colleague Gwent here at Cross Keys Campus and here at Cross Keys Campus in our lovely studio, you'll be able to uh, do your full degree, which is a really, really remarkable thing. We're affiliated with University, uh, sorry, Cardiff Metropolitan University. Um, and the collaboration is a really, really strong one um, in terms of both sort of what we can do here and what we have access to actually in Cardiff Met. On the course, you will be able to um, push yourselves towards a photographic career. We will be um, uh, exhibiting your work widely across the three years that you're with us. Uh, we've got an amazing array of studio equipment and general photography equipment at your disposal here. Cameras, we do drone photography, we do an awful lot of different things on the course. That will allow you to um, undertake a career 
that will give you the most satisfaction and that will actually push you forward to be the photographer that you really want to be. I think Maria is going to play a little video that we have here. So the course is um, all encompassing in terms of photography. We're very lucky that we now run year one, year two and year three. Um, year one is very much focused on <clears throat> your learning. Year two is very much focused on opportunity and experience. And year three is where you will really strive to push yourself into either the world of Korea, should you be a school leaver, should you be um, doing the course for career purposes, or if you're an adult returning to education, or if you're a retiree returning to education to push yourself and to challenge yourself um, and to just keep yourself engaged and interested in learning your photography. Year three is where you will, year three is where you will generate your success. So as I've said, across the year, you will exhibit widely across many, many different areas. Uh, you'll have an exhibition in Tradiga House showing some wonderful conceptual fine artwork. At the end of the year, you'll be part of an amazing end of year show. We're hoping this year that it's going to be both online and there might be scope for our foundation degree and BA learners to have an exhibition in the Riverfront, uh, Riverfront Theatre with the work being displayed in the windows of the Riverfront Theatre this year. Uh, things have to be done slightly different this year because of um, obvious reasons, but we're still slowly, gradually working our way back into the world of the physical. The course encompasses an awful lot of field trips. The best way for you guys to learn photography is to get out and about and immerse yourselves into the world in which you need to be taking your pictures. All of our modules are very specific in terms of the type of photography you'll be doing, be it fashion photography in our amazing studio, be it landscape photography in our beautiful locations, um, but we also allow you to collaborate on the course. You'll be working for Porsche Automotive. You'll do shoots for Tiny Rebel Brewery. You'll shoot for the RSPB, shooting landscape photography. You'll photograph for Natural Resources Wales and uh, the Welsh National Opera. You'll photograph for the National Trust and you'll also photograph the fashion brand V3 Apparel as well. So there's an awful lot that you learn on the course and an awful lot that in my opinion, the best thing, an awful lot that you will take away from the course in terms of opportunities to allow yourself to push forward into the career that you um, that you all hope all hopefully want. OK, Maria, back to you. Hi, uh, thanks, Pete. And uh, <clears throat> next course I'm going to be talking to you about is media production. We have a foundation degree media production and during the video I'm going to show you, it will give you a bit of an insight into the course and the types of things you'll be doing. Um, it also will give you a little bit of a clip of our TV studio that we have on campus. Um, the star of the show is Peter Watkins Hughes and he is our resident filmmaker and course leader for foundation degree. Unfortunately, he can't be with us this evening. So I'm going to play the video and if you do have any questions, then please let me know. Give me a sec. I'm mixing up high explosives. I've got to be careful if I drop them. Mommy! Hello and welcome to T20, the spiritual home of creative media courses here at Cross Keys College. The room itself is an old TV studio, but in reality it's a playground where your imagination can run riot and strange and terrible things can happen. Are you going to blow me up again? Are you going to blow me up? Cool. We're not just about blowing things up. Here you can explore your sensitive side too. I'm sensitive. I'm not. <laughs> You could use the studio to make a beautiful, heartbreaking romance about lost and unrequited love. You could make people cry all over the world, especially if you added a cute baby dinosaur, or a really big dinosaur, if you prefer. Or you could just use the space to explore your quiet side. <coughs> or maybe not. <laughs>
Or we could just use the place to have the mother of all discos. Yeah. The room is a playground where you can let your imagination and creativity run riot. There are no rules in filmmaking, except maybe one. Whatever you do, have a blast making it. So that was media production. If anyone's got any questions about media production, please post in the chat and we'll do our best to answer them. But I think you've got the um, the idea of, of what media production is about. It is about filmmaking, about storytelling and using um, moving image to do that. So if that interests you, please let us know and hopefully we'll be able to answer a few more questions. I'm going to hand back to <clears throat> Peter Britton now, who's going to talk to you a little bit about college life. So there are a lot of reasons as to why you might choose to study uh, HE in an FE institution. Um, you know, you, you do need to weigh up the options between studying at university and studying um, in, in a college. And there are an awful lot of benefits to studying at um, Colleg Gwent, um, at studying, you know, in an, in an FE institution. First off is the links that we have with our university providers. By studying here, you are part of the university that uh, provides the courses. So for instance, Cardiff Met, University of South Wales, etc. You are very much embedded in their systems. Um, you have access to their facilities, you have access to and guidance from certain lecturers, you have link coordinators. So we have wonderful connections with the university providers. You are a university student. Um, that said, by staying with us, you remain local. So that might save you money on travel and accommodation, um, save you time, you can spend more time with your family, etc. One of the biggest um, benefits is the fact that we have cheaper tuition fees. So essentially the same courses, but cheaper tuition fees, which will save you money should you be applying for student finance, etc. The courses, our courses, and this is one thing we're very proud of, our courses are very much embedded in the workplace as well. You've probably noticed that all of the courses so far have talked about collaborations. All the courses have talked about industry lengths. And we are really proud of the fact that our lecturers have an enormous wealth of industry knowledge. All of our lecturers, while educators, are also industry practitioners. And that is a really important thing for you guys. Most of our lecturers have a wealth of experience across many different disciplines in their field. Um, you know, you might have, for myself as a photographer, I practice in weddings, in portraits, in the world of fine art, and all of that information is imparted and given to you guys so that you can progress within your own careers. Um, by doing a degree, you'll gain all the benefits that having a degree will offer, such as greater employability. You will have smaller class sizes than in universities as well. Instead of working in groups of 50 or 60, you'll be working in groups of between 15 to 20 to 25, which means that you get a greater amount of tuition time from your lecturers and, gre and a greater amount of one-to-one -one time, which means that your learning um, will improve at potentially a faster rate because you are, um, uh, learning in a more bespoke and specific way. We also um, have the opportunity to travel abroad on the course as well. So just like you would have the opportunity in, in a university, each and every year we travel to foreign climes. We alternate years by doing um, um, a long haul trip and then in the next year we do a European trip. We do this for financial reasons. So one is cost effective and the other one is sort of an all out cultural trip to New York. Um, and they're really fascinating things because you get to learn and study your chosen art in a totally different environment for a week. Uh, last year, just before the pandemic broke, we were able to go to Paris and we took um, uh, a group of photography learners, illustration learners, all of our HE learners to Paris and everybody visited exhibitions, photographed on the streets of Paris, illustrated on the streets of Paris, drew sketches, and it was a really wonderful experience. The year before that, we visited New York. Um, so on the course, you'll have an opportunity to broaden your cultural and traditional horizons as well by following us on, on an abroad trip each and every year. 
at the end of the year, you will also have the opportunity to uh, partake in our end of year show. It's been online for uh, last year and probably for this year as well. I will pop a link to the chat. Uh, I will pop a link in our chat area in just a moment for you all to follow and have a little look at. Um, but all in all, really exciting things and an awful lot of benefits to staying in HE, but being a uh, part of an FE institution. OK, Maria, back to you. Thanks, Pete. Um, and hopefully that's given you a little bit of an insight into what it's like to study HE um, at college. Uh, I noticed we've got a few people with us. If you want to let us know what course it is you're interested in or what subject area you're interested in, or maybe you're not sure. Um, the presentation has, has finished, but we will stay here now for another um, five minutes before you move into the next chat room. So I'll play the video, but we will be here in the background. If you do have any questions, then please let us know. And thank you for joining us this evening. Thank you. 